cute. Boy. Have you done any clicker training with him? No, I haven't done anything. Okay. Other than just trying to get used to me and oh, right here. Good boy. keep him exercise. Love. Right. Good boy. He might he won't strike that off contact, so it's yeah. really good. Nope. Hi. Good. Good. Oh, that was a pretty sit. Yes, it was. He didn't have to ask you much. Oh, I love his eyes. They're like orange. Yeah, and he's got the the white over here kind of going in. Dude, that's really cool. Good. All right. Come on. Clicker training will do him really well. And tell that guy just to snap. What I mean by that is like walking with him like this, with him in between your hands and the wall, to where, like if you ask him to sit, gives him a little, he can't move away from it as mm -hmm. much. Come on. He's a, uh-uh, uh-uh. Good boy. Just such a good boy. Yeah, good job, boy. Come on. Uh-uh. Heel. Good. Okay. And when you turn him to the left, Diesel, you want to keep going until you, until you make that eye contact. Good job, buddy. Good boy. And you can, you really want to focus on that and really compliment him on that whenever he does it. Eye contact. Yes, the eye contact. See, he's watching horses now. Mm-hmm. I don't think, I don't know if he's ever seen a horse. It's like a big dog. Yeah. All right, Diesel. Diesel. Keep going left. Good boy until he looks up, makes the eye contact. Uh -huh. You want that, right, buddy? Come on. And then you can take off and go straight or to the left, uh, to the right. But you really want that connection first thing. Because he'll get Diesel. I know you smell my pants. Diesel and the horses. Good boy. Because you want that first thing when you start to, you know, throw a leash on him and get ready. You want that eye contact and stuff first thing. So his focus is on you. Okay. Okay. And doing going to the left since, you know, they're supposed to be on the left anyway. Going to the left first thing. Mm -hmm. Taking that leg and pushing into him. Okay. Diesel. Diesel, diesel, diesel. Hi, good boy. You know, if you got a snake frame or whatever, mm -hmm. that's what he really responds to. Right, buddy. Come on. guys they really pay a lot of attention to the clickers i'll go in and get mine here in just a minute he's a smart boy oh yes you can Very see smart. you can see it considering that you said you haven't been able to get him to sit yet and that was just in a few minutes mm -hmm. oh yeah good boy Come here. and he's so he's so chill that's what's even cooler about him and you can tell that he wants to do what you're wanting him to do he just doesn't know what that is yet like, yes because I haven't been, I'm not good at telling dogs. <laughs> you know, it's just, you, you have to, um, you have to learn what works for each dog also. Right. And that's the hardest thing is finding out exactly what works for each dog. Because everybody's different, just like people. Horses are the same way, I promise. <laughs> Good boy, sit. 
Nice little sip. Oh, good, good boy. boy. <laughs> good boy. See, my thing is clickers and whistles. Okay. He really, you can say his name and he likes his name, but that. He's like, I hear it. I don't know what it means, but I want to respond to it. Mm hmm. And here's everybody else going. Come on. Oh, boy. Come on, Hazel. Feel. Let's see how if you keep it right there and you stop and you just kind of keep your hand right here, mm -hmm. he corrects himself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then there's no pulling and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. You're just stationary. He corrects himself and he's very sensitive. Mm -hmm. So you want to use that to the advantage. Okay. Okay. You don't want to have to fight the whole time. Now it's different if you take him out and you give him a command like, okay, go tea. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he can sniff and he can sniff and he can go around and stuff like that. But you still want to be able to take your pinky or whatever and half halt him and get that attention. Mm -hmm. Good boy. Good job. But the more often you keep it right here whenever you're well, walking him and everything, and it doesn't take much, it takes a finger, mm -hmm. okay? Um, the more he starts to respond to that, the better he's going to be if it starts to slip down here. Because here, see, is not as strong and I'm barely pulling. Mm -hmm. He wants to, but he doesn't know what that means yet. <whistles> Diesel, good boy, come on. Come on. <whistles> I know, you see the horses. Come on. Diesel, sit. See how the wall helps? Mm -hmm. You kind of have mm -hmm. something there. Diesel, sit. No, I want you to pay attention. Hi. Yeah, sit. Good, Good boy. boy. So he does better on the sitting if you get the eye contact first. And then ask him. Hey, what you doing? You're being so good. <laughs> You're being <laughs> he wants to be like in your lap. He wants oh, to play yeah. tug of war. He he just never knew that life was so wonderful. Well, see, and since he likes to play tug and all that kind of stuff, that can be his because he's still kind yeah. of puppy. Yeah. That can be his biggest reward mm -hmm. since he's not very treat oriented. Mm -hmm. So you take a break from everything and you go play, mm -hmm. even if it's a minute and a half. Okay. You go play, and that's his reward. You know, you big on the good boy. You did so good. Such a good job. You know. You do the tugging for a minute, and then if you feel like he is ready to do more and focused, then you get his attention again, even if it takes the going to the left. Mm -hmm. Diesel, Diesel, that's a good boy, good boy. Get his attention, and then okay, it's business. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Heel. I mean, he's so chill in the kennel. He's so chill outside. He can, cause he, cause he gave up. He was outside with no attention, and he just was. Well, see, and then that other dog and everything mm -hmm. else, and it was just a problem. Mm -hmm. right. Like last night, we walked for almost two miles, mm -hmm. and he just was like happy to be with me. Big difference seeing him from the beginning, and then like him getting the food that he needed and everything mm -hmm. else. Just that, how that changed him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <gasps> say food and love. That's what we run on. <laughs> yeah, say food and love. You're such a happy boy. Yeah. Winky eyes. And he sees the horses. Mm -hmm. And he just, he's like, I want to look at them and I want to kind of focus on that. But if you need my attention, I'm going to give it to you. So that's excellent. You hear Ichi in there raising cane? Huh? You hear him raising cane? 
So what would your what would your advice be for like a future adopter? Well, only known him for a few minutes. Right, which yeah. is amazing. It would, it would be best. It would be best if it was somebody who knows something about dogs. Mm -hmm. And I'm not saying they have to be the most knowledgeable, but at the same time, you want somebody who, because he is still learning. Yes. You want somebody who is going to be consistent with him. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. know, who's not going to go, oh, well, you know, even though they should only, you would only have to spend three minutes worth of training with him here and there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because he's so smart and he pays so much attention, you know somebody can't expect to not work at it and then get a yeah. perfect dog yes, or whatever exactly. yeah because he's still learning yeah yeah and if you if they stay consistent even in the simple simple stuff he's going to be a fantastic dog mm -hmm. i mean look at him oh yeah <laughs> i mean like he's been here what 30 minutes yep that? yep he, he's very adaptable yes very easy to relax can i rub your belly can i rub your belly oh He's just so big. <laughs> He's a boy. Oh, you're, you're so just a big pretty. boy. And so pretty. Oh, look at you. Just a I have noticed he's a little mouthy. Oh, but he's still got the puppy thing. Yes, that's Safe. true. Yeah. And, the and males he... and stuff, the males are always a little bit more mouthy than females. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. And when he talk, when he's excited, he's not a growl, but he he talks with the. <laughs> oh, so yours is sweet vocal, huh? That's but, it. That little yeah. grunty. Yeah. See, but he's it's nothing aggressive even. See, mm -mm, he's, mm -mm. see, he's just like I just want to play, and mm -hmm. I'll hold your hand a little. Mm -hmm. I mean, Ichi, the one that you just met. Mm -hmm. If you've got gloves on, he won't. He used. He doesn't do it as much now because he's like he's fine with just feeling your hand because mm -hmm. he's like this high, you mm -hmm. know. He'll, he'll he'll escort you and but used to you know like a year or so ago even i mean he would ask if he could hold your hand while you've got a glove on just very gently just i'm gonna walk you and it's like okay but it was nothing aggressive it right was just you know he likes to escort usually it's him on this side and mickey on the other when we go out to the barn like okay dude well hopefully i'm gonna keep working with them a couple at least until he gets a, a rescue, which is really my goal. Yeah. Because I'm not going to, you know, be able to keep him. But oh, I yeah. want him to get a good home. 